Hey, welcome back. I just have a really quick video today, I think. I don't think I'll have too much to say um, about the new guard previews and kind of where I think this leaves uh, me is in terms of if I'll be collecting anything and kind of what, what I just what I think about what, the, what they've shown so far, because this, this isn't all of it. There's going to be more. So anyways, um, they had their um, leaked photo this image here bad quality as always and followed a day or two later by this article i think it's pretty clear by now that um they write these articles for the leaks i mean if it really is truly a leak and they're playing catch up um that's i don't know how they're not catching the i can only assume like a couple of people that would really uh, have a chance to do that. So I do assume it is just, you know, it's a marketing thing, which is fine. It's just, it's a marketing thing. And it makes sense. But now we have the good picture and the breakdown of what's in it. So we get a little video. I'm not going to show that. Uh, sorry, I've got a cold that I'm kind of going through right now. And yeah, the first thing we get is Ursula Creed. This is Urskar E. Creed's daughter. And overall, it's not a model I see myself picking up, even for my Cadians, just because, um, you know, it's she, I feel like, is probably going to be still with the Cadian 8th. And I run the Cadian 122nd. Th that would be the only real reason. There's nothing wrong with the model. It's, um, it's a bit. Um, I don't know, I guess, I can't say bland, but it's not something that stands out to me other than the little tiny uh, nods to her father. And it also has this base, which, I don't know, I don't like bases like this, uh, these big, like, scenic ones that they sometimes include. Um, when possible, I just don't use them. Every once in a while, there's one I like, but this one here is just, it's a bit too generic. And it just makes me feel like I have to go back and redo all my other bases if I'm going to use this. So that's one reason I wouldn't grab this. Although it is a nice officer just to use as a generic officer, knock off stuff like I probably wouldn't have this thing behind her. But I would definitely consider using it just as an officer model. It's pretty cool. Um, Yeah, it's got the... The pistols that her father used or something, you know, akin to that. She's wearing his great coat. She has her, you know, I don't know what it's called, her rod of command thing. And then she has this this helmet. I don't like this head. Um, I don't think it's, it's as well sculpted as this one. A, I don't like the helmet. I think it doesn't match. I've heard people say it's something to do with uh, like a Churchill thing. That could be. But it is just to me, it's more of a Krieg style helmet and not even as nice as those and it just doesn't fit Kadia. I, I wouldn't use that plus i don't think her face is sculpted as well here i don't like the um the facial pose or whatever the feature that you know the the stance they gave her face I, I i think this one's uh much better moving on this is the exciting part it's the kasserkin having kasserkin officially back is really nice they are you know, of the, I think it's four generations of Stormtrooper models that we've had. We had the plastics with the berets. We had the uh, pewters that were uh, like kind of like an SAS looking guy. And their hell guns were not attached by power cables. And then we had the Kasserkin. And now we have the Scions. I think the Kasserkin are the best um, by like a long... Uh, by a long shot, they're just so much cooler looking. They have a really nice 40k vibe to them, which has always made them stand out, while also still being more of a generic look like Kadia is supposed to be. Kadia is your generic sci-fi trooper. They look like, you know, soldiers. And they don't have any funky, uh, gimmicky things to them for the most part. And that's how I like, that's why I like these guys. These guys look like something that could, in theory, come out of a modern military minus the weaponry. 
but the scions that we have right now i have some and they're nice like they're good models but they're not as good and i just love this the uh i love the power cable like i love the power that's suggested by the weapon on this with the power pack sorry just kind of got segued there and distracted um yeah the the scions are nice but they're just not as nice as the caster can they are too over the top they're Probably they're nicer for my Vostroyans than they are my Cadians because my Vostroyans are over the top. And they just, they don't fit. Whereas I can understand why they got rid of the Casterkin because, you know, Casterkin really only fit truly with the Cadians. So I guess having the option is nice now to have both. Now I'm going to probably grab a couple of boxes of these, although I... I do assume it's going to be like 70 bucks for 10. I really hope they don't try like 50 bucks for five or something. Um, don't fully trust them not to. At that price, I wouldn't get involved. 70 bucks for 10, I'd buy one or two boxes maybe. Go find a discount. Or see if I can snag some used in a year after release kind of thing. But when you look at the Scions, I think they're around 45 bucks Canadian for five. They were like 40 when they first came out, I think, or something along those lines. They might even be higher than I think, but they're definitely overcosted uh, for what they are. So I'd rather pay a slightly higher sticker price but get like 10 dudes. But I guess that's really just down to how the marketing and finance guys at GW, you know, what they what they figure out and how much they think they can milk out of the community on these. Which, frankly, is probably going to be a lot, because everyone's been waiting for these. And going on to the last thing they showed off, this is the, the new Sentinel. I saw a post on Warhammer 40K's uh, Facebook page where they had um, admit, or, um, answered somebody's question about whether this was a replacement kit for the Sentinels, and they confirmed it was. They tend not to answer questions unless they actually know the answer at this point um, of their existence over there on that social page. So I assume this guy knew what he was talking about, this woman, whoever posted it. I assume they knew what they were talking about, and this is the new Sentinel, which does mean I need to grab one more just to finish my little squadron. But um, that also tells me that this will essentially just be pretty much the same stat line i'm guessing this is not some sort of heavy sentinel variant there might be a change in the stats but you know at this point here either the previous armored or this version they're going to do the same thing um i can't imagine this is a bigger base i mean maybe it is i guess that it's possible i'd have to rebase maybe but um, I don't think they, this is 60 millimeter that the original one's on. I don't think they do bigger than 60 millimeter for something like this. This thing would have to be absolutely massive to get like one of the next sizes up. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's nice. Um, it's a little bit, I don't know, I feel like there's a bit of like a, a Soviet feel to this. Like this looks like what, you know, sci-fi Soviet secret weapons, like, you'd see in like an anime or something is what they would they look like and it's a little i guess different from the aesthetic we're used to for the guard but i like it i think it's cool and it looks like it has all the options we're used to so you know and i i do assume it does build as an open top there was an open top variant um back here and based on that, I would assume it's still this. It's still the same kit. That's not like an old Sentinel, because again, it's it's apparently like replacing, so there shouldn't be any left over. But yeah, it's it's cool. I like it. Uh, one last thing too, I guess, is we're expecting by looks of that, that's either those veteran Cadians, um, unless the Casserkin are going to be the veteran Cadians. I don't know how they're going to work that out. I guess in theory, or like you know, technically, what they could do is have the infantry squads and still have scions but then have Casserkin as our veterans so that we have a legitimate veteran squad and then upgrade update the veteran rules to go back to having the options for carapace and stuff 
Um, but this does look like that's probably the, the veterans back there, unless they're actually redoing the Cadian infantry. I'm not sure about the um, the special weapons or have sorry heavy weapons. Although I am positive that's a brand new man team. Other people are pretty sure of that too. And then our new commissar that we're probably getting because not a guard release cycle without a commissar getting squeezed in somewhere. He's our primaris lieutenant basically. Um. Yeah, so that's all my thoughts on this. I do hope that we get the next uh, reveal, you know, in the next month or so. I know they're winding down the Horus Heresy hype. And I have started 3D printing some bits to go with my new Horus Heresy Night Lords. I have some already, I think I've mentioned. But the new guys that are coming, I've started uh, 3D printing some shoulder pads and stuff like that that I think are going to match really well. Is one of the cool things about Night Lords is I feel like they've always just sort of looked the same from pre heresy right up to 40k. They also always had sort of the same vibe of just skulls and bat wings and body parts. So I feel confident that what I'm printing is going to look fine. But yes, finally, Guard are getting something for nine. It looks like not just a couple of pages in a $60 campaign book or or a an update, which, which makes our infantry look really good on paper, which then a month later they kill with um, the, I think it's a rumor still, hopefully, it's not confirmed, but that they're going to change it so that we only start with like five or six or seven command points, which means infantry guard armies, you can't just take like three detachments because you'll have no command points left. So make their guard infantry really strong, and immediately turn around, and take it away. So I don't know. Hopefully, um, that if that part is true of that rumor, that the going back to the old style uh, force organization chart of two HQ, six troops, three elite, three fast attack, and three heavy support, that's also true. Um, I've always felt that the detachments they've offered now are just there's too many. They're all over the place, and. For the most part, most armies benefit from just using kind of like the me the mid tier one anyways. Most of the other armies, they're never going to use the big one. They don't need the little one or can't use the little one. And all the extras are like neat and fluffy, but for the most part, they're not too useful unless you're just trying to squeeze in a couple of more units um, or your list. Going back to a standard one that everybody has to adhere, adhere to might honestly smooth out a lot of the problems we have. And it would solve the um, the um, you know not being able to take extra detachments because we have fewer command points issue that we're looking at possibly coming up. But if they do that, I do hope that does mean the Imperial Guard are getting platoons back. I'm, I'm going to do a video, I think, at some point, just talking about what makes the Guard special and why we need to have platoons back and why certain units need to perform better than they do just because right now the guard don't feel like the guard I started they just sort of feel like an underwhelming um generic army there's there's nothing special about them right now and I'm really hoping with all this new stuff we're going to start seeing guard be the unique army they once were every army should feel unique otherwise why do we have them all honestly um let's all just play space marines in which case let's just do Horus heresy right so anyways, thanks for your time. I hope that everybody who watched this far into the video, you know, thought it was worth their time. If you have any thoughts or comments, please leave them below and I'll do my best to answer it. And everybody have a great day.